Welcome to Season 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Farfa and I are back on fresh accounts, and this time around we've got several new rules and plenty of exciting surprises throughout the season. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga Season 3. yo Welcome back to the... Grand finale of Master Saga Season 3. We got some shocking surprises coming at you for the next season, but uh, for this one, uh, it's all wrapped up and I am technically the reigning champion and winner, but we're gonna play it out for fun with a little challenge for the final episode. We got an Iron Man match, means you gotta win with every deck you bring today. You're gonna build three decks, and on top of that, you get to play a banned card as if it's at one and a limited card as if it's at three. So let's see what we can cook up today. But first of all, we're going to begin with 10 master pack as we always do. Uh, that's a decent amount of hollows, I suppose, for some secret pack openings. Let's see what's in here. Uh, nothing too good in terms of uh, staples, although Code Talker is okay. And our holo is Exosisters. Uh, that's a selection pack, isn't it? So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be playing Exosisters. All right, pack number Zvi here. What do we got? Danger, Dogman. Gishki Vision. Uh, are we going to check out Gishkis today? Probably not. Uh, that's a Nagel's Protection. I don't think we're playing the dangly boys and nothing good here except persona dragon maybe if we want to revisit pendulum i think i've got a pendulum deck somewhere kowloon mandragora is another uh very good card if we uh go back to some rank four strategies cupid pitch that's a very good card huh this search is corridor not sure if we can really make it with anything but hey yo that's a thing and, and feet number six is Oh boy, another hollow! White howling! <laughs> and our final hollow from this pack is Onibaru Soul Sweeper! Okay, that's uh, good for our Paleo deck. I, I keep saying Paleo because I love that deck and I might revisit it, you know? Uh, Cyber Valley. Oh, apparently that's my second one. Okay, let's throw. Oh, Performa Pal, you go fuck yourself! And our hollow is Afterglow Dragon. That's pretty good. Pack number Ocho, Hammer the Jammer, baby! If you're watching this after the TCG ban list, then you know for a fact this guy's gonna get the axe. Or at least he deserves it, anyway. Dimension Wall, that's a really funny card. Uh, why no one plays Magic Cylinder, they say. Welcome back to another installment of Why Nobody Plays Magic Cylinder. All right, pack number nine here, we got a White Rabbit. But where is Black Rabbit, huh? Final pack is... Well, we've only opened three secret packs, by the way. Not completely impressive. Fallen of Albaz, once again, back into that pack. At this stage, I feel like I could have just built full power branded by the time this season is completed, because that's how many times we've gotten this pack. And Noble Knight Dryass. Uh, Dristan, same thing. That's how you pronounce that. All right, let's go check out the secret packs and see if there's anything funky or weird we can come up with today. Oh, Zero Ultras. Epic. <laughs> Epic! Well, the next time that we go into these uh, packs here, we get a guaranteed ultra, which is going to happen... Never. It's the final episode. Okay, here we are with the last Master Saga episode of Season 3. We are opening the Nibiru bundle, which should be a little bit of a treat here. I don't know how good Nibiru is in Saga format, but the bundles are always fun, right? And this one was added just a couple weeks ago. So this is the final episode, which means we are doing an Iron Man, which means we have to build three different decks. And then none of the cards can overlap between those decks. It's really going to test our collections. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun um, the previous uh, finals that we had filmed last time and I think that you guys enjoyed it as well at least more than the season one which is a little bit of a mess but uh here we go back to my three I should say steamroid broken harpy girl shark caesar not really sure there it was definitely an exciting season I hope you guys enjoyed it quite a bit I know that I had a lot of fun playing this season we had some really big rule changes that I think now we kind of think of as like the normal rules but if you remember like the old winner and loser prizes were completely different than they are right now and I can't wait for you guys to see what we're doing in season four obviously I kind of introduced like a little bit of one of the changes I was thinking about doing early with the sort of opening extra deck monsters from the secret packs that you unlock as well but you guys are going to really be excited to see See what uh, I got coming with season four because we got some really cool stuff. Holy shit, we are just not getting secret packs in this bundle. Um, does Nibiru open the Gradle pack at least? We could go into that. 
Jet Warrior, Lightning Chidori, fantastic pickup if we have any wind monsters. I don't know that we do, but if we do, that's a great pickup. Oh, here we go, here we go, what do we got? Um, rank up magic, Astral Force, Mech Knight, the Morning Star, and Medulches. Um, we could run it back from Roulette. Hmm. Pack number nine, Super Quantum, miss those. Pile Armed Dragon. We have like good dragon cards. We have Dragon Ravine, we have this card. Final pack here, what do we got? Super Express Bullet, F Spiral Flame Strike. Oh my gosh. We might have to go into Odd Eyes. We have a lot of Odd Eyes cards. We actually already have um, like several URs from this pack, I believe. So let's get to the secret packs and see what we unlocked. Yo, Yo Dub! I'm going to attempt to, uh, my secret packs are not very good, by the way. They're pretty, pretty ass. Gonna go try go into this pack five times, uh, finish my play set of Torrentials, maybe pull a Kairish in and see if that gets me any other, any other better secret packs. So go, pack number one. Oh, Ultra! Okay. Okay. Wow, I hope it's not from the pack because I don't want any of these cards. Uh, anything here? Gaia. <laughs> Find a spiral battle. At There's a third torrential. Oh my god, great, awesome. We can literally go do a different pack now, 14 times instead. All right, and the last card is Deep Sea Prima Donna. I guess we're going into branded. Maybe we can just play full power branded, baby. All right, I am. Uh, I am once again in the, the uh, realm of the branded because I've literally been bullied into this. I don't want to play this deck, but chat says if I just play three Albas, I'm basically good to go. Okay, there's my branded fusion and my Mirror Jade in that pack right there. Here we go. Let's uh, get Mirror Jade and uh, branded fusion and we should probably be able to uh, just fuse away Doug's entire field multiple times. Wow, nothing. Almost as if this pack is worthless. There's not even any Despia cards in here. I should have went and got those chaos spaces, man. This is how God intended for me to play Albaz. Albaz control. Oh my God, four trap cards. Why is there so many trap cards in a branded deck? Like, ugh. I think they just had to like make as many cards as possible because like they needed the space for the artwork. I'm not seeing any mirror jades right now. Uh, Eka, Eka the flame buddy. Buddy, that's crazy. Okay, those are like my fifth cards here. All right, this is a Mirror Jade, and then we just win the game. This is just a Mirror Jade. This is just a Mirror Jade, and we win. This is just a Mirror Jade. There's right here, we're just, we're just pulling a Mirror Jade. Watch this. Oh, wrong one! Darn. That's still fine. Yes! Mirror Jade! Mirror Jade! Mirror Jade! Mirror Jade! Mirror Jade! Mirror Jade! Branded in white! Mirror Jade! Oh, why don't you branded get lost, man? That is the worst card for sealed. Oh, uh, who lost? Who lost? Ice hand. Wait, do I already have two of this? Oh my god, I heckin' love branded bat. Bat, I heckin' love branded. Okay, anything good? No, nothing good. Wow, this pack was a waste of time. Blue tank clan ain't none to fuck with. Final pack here. Hmm, there's definitely a mirror jade in here. A high spirit. Second copy of that is actually pretty good. That's more consistency. Uh, okay, well, let's go to deck building and finalize our lists for today. Okay, I think we're going to start out with Odd Eyes. I really think that having a Pendulum deck as one of our options for the Iron Man would be really good because that won't use cards that the other decks need. And uh, we have a lot of cards for this pack. We have uh, Sky Iris already. We have. Uh, we actually already have another copy of this. So that's our second copy of Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Not to mention that Vortex is super low rarity and should be pretty easy to summon. Pack number two. Nothing too crazy. We'll see. Well, that's a good pickup out of the first pack. <laughs> you cannot complain about Another Gaia Plate. Trap Hole. We were going to build an Earth deck in the last episode, by the way, so... Kind of funny to see that. And then we have Odd Eyes Persona Dragon, which we do have already. So this will be a way to play a lot of our Pendulums that we've seen um, in our openings so far. Maybe even some of those Endymion cards. Um, ooh, Odd Eyes, or not Odd Eyes. <laughs> Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, pack number four. What are we working with? We don't actually have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, though, I'm pretty sure. So that would be a cool one to uh, actually get. Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, not a bad pickup. Pack number five. Ooh, you are? Is this the Odd Eyes that we've been waiting for? Maybe. Maybe Odd Eyes isn't that important, but I feel like we want one copy at least. Unicorn, that's a good pickup. Phantasma Dragon, not sure what that is. And Cosmic Fortress Golgar, broken, aliens. Okay, here we go, the final 10 packs of Master Saga Season 3. 
<laughs> yeah, that about uh, seems right. Yeah. Man, this season, I know I haven't played the best every episode, but I will say that I feel like my pulls have been pretty shitty as well. We have Vortex and Absolute out of that one pack. There we go. We're all set up. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, next account gives us some better packs. Pack number two. Another Absolute uh, Meteor Briss, which we already had. So we just need two Turbo Spam level seven monsters to try to get to the Vortex Dragon, which Varfa has done in many Master Saga seasons. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Oh, apparently we did have this. I don't remember having this, but apparently we did. This should be a pretty strong Pendulum deck, I think, for the final. Um, Persona, once again. Pack number five. Synchron Explorer, not bad. I'll have to uh, read through these Odd Eyes cards over the weekend, because I don't really know like a ton of the lower rarity ones, but it seems like we're doing pretty good with the high rarity cards. And the low rarity ones that I do know, like Vortex and Absolute. What do we got? Ooh, Odd Eyes Synchron, not bad. Weather Painters, eh, I'm not sure about that one. Pack number seven. Um, okay. Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, it does seem like we're getting a lot of different Odd Eyes uh, Hollows, which is good to see. Like in Pendulums, you got lots of searching. So, oh, Sky Iris would be a big pickup for like one of these final packs too. That's an UR though, of course. Nothing there. Upgrade? Oh, not from the pack though. Yellow Ninja. Oh, we got Blackwing, Veyu, the Emblem of Honor. Broken. We can go back to Edison and play that. Hack number 10. Hack number 10. What do we got? We send you comma two. Goki Thunder Ogre. And Spiral Flame Strike in the final pack. What a pull. Nice. Okay. I think we have like a real Pendulum deck on our hands. And then I think we might build like a Melfi deck. I'm not really sure about the third one. But uh, let's get to deck building and see how it goes. Choo -choo! It's time for your deck profiles and here I've been in the kitchen and some of you might be wondering what he's been cooking and some of you will tell me to turn the stove off but some of you will say Farfa you are absolutely sexy and handsome. I want to make out with you. Hype half you agree. All right, this is my deck list here. The first one, I'm bringing Chaos. Just good old Chaos with the Nemesis engine and the Protoss and the Eschatos. That was an absolute insane deck here. My craft for this week, by the way, is the second copy of Raigeki. Yes, I went with a second Raigeki. And obviously, as you know, I cannot play the same cards in multiple decks, so I've had to spread them out a little bit. I've decided to go for some of the discard stuff here just to fill up my grave here with some Chaos stuff and Nemesis things, and hopefully uh, that'll uh, banish a light and a dark for me. Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, engine gas deck, basically, is the logic that I went for. In Hindsight, maybe I should have just crafted a second Protoss, honestly. That probably would have been better. You know what, Chad? I how about I just craft a second Protoss? How about I actually just craft a second Protoss? Yeah, let's do that. I'm just Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play two Proton. It's just good to draw. All right, second deck here. All right, my second deck that I'm bringing today is Live Twin. I think that this is really strong and probably one of the best decks that I've built in Saga. Uh, it's just a really good one card engine that gives you a pop and a draw. Can't complain about that. So I decided to load this one up with some of the stealing staples. Mind control and change of heart because it's a link deck. I can use my scapegoat and my opponent's monsters, etc., to link away their cards and then bring them back with Call the Haunted the Reborn, just so I can bring back the one of Trouble Sunny that I do have. Uh, so I'm gonna not use the banish effect, and instead I'm gonna keep bringing it back to then bring back my my own guys after I tribute them off and do their effects, etc., etc. And for my one unlimit and three un unlimits to unlimited, I went with with putting Canahawk back to one, and I honestly couldn't think of what other limited card I had to put back to three. I put Canahawk back to one, which immediately makes Ritual Beast playable again. And Ritual Beast is a bit of a weaker deck and a bit of a grindier deck, unless you can actually just open Elder Canahawk forehead. Uh, so I decided to put most of the good staples in here. The Dark Hole, the Raigeki, the Duster, as well as all of my good trap cards, and Floodgate, of course, as well, with Gozen Match, and uh, play one of the strongest Yu-Gi-Oh decks of all time, that are Wind and Psychic and Beast specifically. Let's get into the duels and see who can take this one down. Here we are at the finale of Master Saga Season 3. We have to play three different decks and no cards can be shared between those decks, so it's a pretty tough challenge in terms of deck building. For my first strategy, I have brought Melfi. This is one of my favorite decks that I've ever built in Master Saga, and I think it should be a pretty powerful deck going first or second. I've decided to use my craft in this deck. We're going to be crafting the Duck. This is a really good card that can get to Vera, which pretty Previously, we could only get two with the uh, ultra rare card that we only had one copy of. This is probably one of my best decks that I've ever built in Master Saga, and I can't wait to see how it goes in the finale here. 
My second deck is Unchained Fire Kings. You might have remembered this from a few episodes ago. We have a ton of consistency cards in this strategy. We have lots of three ofs, lots of two ofs, and some really powerful boss monsters. These one ofs right here are all very good. I think that Unchained should be a very strong strategy when you go first, so it is going to be the deck that I win when I lost the previous duel, and we'll see how that goes because I think that when you can build it, when you don't have to worry about drawing going second cards, you can make some pretty ridiculous boards on turn one that will be difficult for Farfa to deal with. Our final deck is Pendulum Spell Counters. I decided to unban Endymion for this episode. I think it was the single card that had the highest impact on this particular duel, and I think that it's really cool because this deck uses a lot of cards that other decks don't really want to use. We're not going to be playing these Pendulum support cards in any other deck, right? So it makes a lot of sense for a challenge like this. This particular strategy can use the Odd Eyes cards like Vortex Dragon to set up some pretty good boards, or it can just OTK the opponent with Mighty Master, which should be pretty good. Opponent, Farfa, what am I talking about here? And uh, yeah, this is my final deck. It is for going second, like I said. We do have the Kaijus in here if Farfa decides to bring back the train strategy, which I'm pretty sure he might. Without further ado, though, let's get into the final duels of Master Saga Season 3. The final duel in Master Saga Season 2. See, three. I was wondering, like, I was looking at my unbans and I was like, what do I really have as a potential to bring back? And then I was looking at yours and I was like, Doug can make some pretty good decks, I feel. With I, options. yeah, I honestly think that uh, these three decks that I've ended up with are some of the better decks that I've had in Saga, which was making me really question why I did so bad the previous 20 episodes. Um, <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Now, the question is, there's no way that you would have used your unban on Lightning Storm. And if you did, there's <laughs> no way that you would draw it in the first hand of the oh, first no. duel. But Did you bring a monkey deck as your first deck? No, I actually, all of my decks are, um, th these are good decks. I did not bring any meme strategies. I think that's, that's good. End phase. I will activate Melfi Wally. Oh. And looks a little better with this. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, sure. Special summoning, Heratic Dragon uh, of Tefnuit. Fuck, you have these? I thought your deck just had all those, like, Gebeb and <laughs> level fours and shit. I just, I never, um, I just never drew Tefnuit against you, the best one, you know? Dang, okay. Well, let's go activate Wally effect. No, uh, no Maxi. No Maxi. This... <laughs> no Maxi. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> uh, it would only be one anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm going to ash this, and I'm pretty sure if I ever just summon another monster, you could just reactivate it. Unless it is just once per turn? Oh, uh, it is once per turn. It okay. is, ah, it is a once per turn. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Not Shit. bad at all. Okay, uh, for my <laughs> next trick, I special summon Heratic Dragon of two. <laughs> That's yeah, that's a good one. Yep. I special from my deck. A yep, egg. Oh yeah, you don't have any <laughs> lower level targets. No, unfortunately not. I'm gonna go for the kill here, boys. Uh let's go and activate light dragon, light dragon, light dragon. I hear you saying attributes and types. That worries me <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> let's go oh, see you a back roll. Well damn, he really wants fiendish. fiendish. It's okay. like the crustiest fiendish ever. Let's go into a first and foremost, a Link Spider. Dude, you get so much value from the uh, the very first structure deck that you that you had. Gotten. I know, right? That was like completely accidental as well, which was funny. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time. Um, we're gonna special summon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. banishing three different yeah, yeah. types for Arch Nemesis Eschatos. Um, and of course it's the, I guess all of mine are Earth or, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I wish I had a Nightmare Phoenix, eh? Uh, I'm gonna activate Eschatos, I'm gonna call Beast. Um, and okay, hopefully so. hopefully your deck just cannot play the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, that is true, but, oh my God, this just sucks. You got a second cause... Fiendish back there? No, I mean, I do have to do that's fair. Um, You're going pretty neg for this. I know. Well, I have to be able to summon Beast. <laughs> That's um, actually fair. I think enough. that the, the least amount of damage is this. Joe, I just remembered how long our Cosmo Melfi duel took last week. And yeah. I'm just thinking, damn, if Doug loses this game, he needs to play it again. <laughs> okay. Wait, did you get rid of Fiendish Chain? Yeah, I think this is a way to, the, to take the least amount of damage. Gonna use Umbrella. Oh my god. No, it's fine. That's fine. Uh, Does this even have anything to back? add? 
My link spider. No, it doesn't. It's in your graveyard. Okay, I see. Uh, let's go battle now. Yeah. Take out this wally. Attack. 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 Wait a sec, phase. this plays terrible. Well, <laughs> I'm just... Quit wait a sec, play? why did I... I could have <laughs> dropleted the Wally, -E, and then I would have taken 15... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I guess if you're talking about pure numbers, that would have been better. Oh, well, oh, well. Uh, yeah, now the Sue isn't finished anymore. Shit. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, um, Main phase 2, Anaconda for DPE. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to use uh, Heratic and Dragon. I was going to oh, ask him... <laughs> 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 oh my no, god, gonna, what? And then this can add it back? <laughs> yep. Okay, that's uh, actually kind of sick. That's actually kind of sick. Can I can I resummon this and do it again? I don't think so. Anyway, I wouldn't have a beast good yeah. type to call. That was um, I think I'm okay what a play. With this. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead there, buddy. Okay, thanks. Um okay, there's a couple top decks. Um Let's go uh activate Melfi Tag. Tag. Put on normal or a special summons a monster. God, this is so funny. Do I really want to do this? Yeah, I ain't cooking shit. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just summon attack mode. Nothing to worry about there. Attack mode. Yep. Okay. Oh my god. Like, there's no way you have something. You're definitely just baiting. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What are you going to do? Like, for, for lance your own guy or something? Or chalice it or some shit? I, no, I'm not falling for it. There's no way you have something to increase your attack here with Wally. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm not. No, there's no way. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Well, end phase. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to use the seals. I'm going to bounce your Wally back to the hand. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Because you could just resummon it. Oh, I'm ha kidding. ha. I have tricked you. <laughs> this just doesn't work. That's so stupid. God. Um, okay. Oh, Where's your Brotar? Over. Where's your Amorphage Goliath? I, know. I don't know. What do you even get here? It's probably just like the fucking ball to not draw it. Um, I'm just going to go. Whoa! Dragoonity Armor Ground. <laughs> yeah, this guy uh, bought the two cards from the grave to summon himself. He's pretty decent. Yeah, this is pretty fucking good. Uh, turn one. Um, okay. Okay. Oh god, that's so much interruption. Um, just one wall in your activate dream. Gram. Uh, what? Yes, it works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a lot easier than I thought it was. <laughs> I'm gonna special summon Nemesis Flag. Okay. <laughs> I swear you only have like a couple of these Nemesis cards in your deck. I had no. I, I have like like a decent amount of them. Okay. Let's activate flag. Yeah. Gonna add corridor. My thunder hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna put back Ash Blossom. Man, no, this is pretty crazy. Cause I think um we've all had Nemesis cards at different points. Uh, I guess, I guess the play is really just put up as much damage as possible. Let's just make uh Cerberus. And yeah. do I want to use this effect? I don't think so. I'm just going to run into it. <laughs> I will be using the effect of my umbrella to add back my flag. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to use my Gram in the graveyard. <laughs> An actual dragon ruler. Uh, hopefully... Literal dragon ruler, yeah. Okay, the effect is a once per turn, at least. That's now, I, I hope I'm cooking here. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this seems pretty good. I, I, I hope this is considered cooking. Yeah. Let's go into... Now we're going to go for Lossus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why are you messing with me, though? Just tell me to attack and I will. <laughs> attack. <laughs> I mean, what? You think... Uh, okay, how many decks have Drowny Mirror Forest, right? Only one of them can have Drowny Mirror Forest, so... Oh, come on, stop! <laughs> no! Oh, man. Uh, it's called Dragon. Anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> Please, no. Yes! Bro, that, that hit was nuts. <laughs> Dude, like, people said that this was my weakest deck as well, which I thought was crazy. I it definitely has the craziest wild. boss monsters, for sure.
So where do you think it went wrong this season, Doug? Where do I think it went wrong this season? Um, no, you I can't think just I wasted... play Raigeki and Lightning Storm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're going to be making some changes with the the crafts next season. I think um, we'll be missing the sea. <laughs> but also, I think that it was just... Um, I think I personally wasted too many of the crafts in the first 10 episodes on super rares for decks that weren't good enough, where I should have been thinking right. of, like, what staples were super rares, like Pot of Desires, Pot of Prosperity, stuff like that. Normal. Set. Oh, Set. God. Go ahead. All right, this crap... <laughs> He's brought Kevin to his uh, oh my gosh. work day, I suppose. All right, so this one can send itself to negate a monster effect, correct? I, I, yeah, yeah, I can't. Or no, it can destroy a fire in the hand and field, yeah. Chad, okay. I do think some people right. are forgetting, though, like the previous thing t before the... D <laughs> Fair. <laughs> The thing before the DM staples <laughs> was like crafting, we were only crafting like Zeus or Axiton. Like that's way fucking worse. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Live twin gaming. Uh, so which one do I summon first if I want to use the effect? I think I- Call I Brian! Pop, I need to summon, it's blue, right? Target a card in the field, destroy it. All right. Looks like some people in chat already figured it out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lilla. Evil twin Lilla is gonna bring back my girl here. I guess we'll go into the pink now. Was this card taken? Yeah, let's bring back blue. Yeah. Effect of let's blue. Pop, uh, face ups or face down? Oh, just one card. Okay, one card. Is it any card? Um, okay, so I think on it's that, I'll um, go for this. Ah, uh, uh, the Unchained Abomination. Effect to pop. Okay, so one of the, so I, I need to pop the blue one. I need to pop the blue one, I think, because you've already used, yeah. I like this new check mark system. I like this new check. Oh, you've used yeah, both yeah, the revival is, effects. Pretty you've used both the revival effects. Yeah, I think I am just going to pop the pink one, because in this... Target one card in the field. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop this one. Yeah, that checkmark system, which I think just got added like a couple days ago, is really cool. For telling you like which effects. Yeah, it's uh, it's strong. But I will three just be setting bro. three here, sir. Okay, okay. Break my board, etc. Oh, that's interesting. Um, Abomination's Prison. Add. Aruha. It's the starlight, right? It has to be <laughs> the right call. <laughs> okay, resolution. I'm going to bring back the uh, pink here. Yeah, to draw. Draw a card. Sure. Okay. I'll set this. Activate. I, I'm not sure if this works or not, but I think it does. Then target one card your opponent controls. So if I destroy the card that it you will target, not special you won't summon. be able to special. No. Right, wow, that's actually that. a big problem. Um, yeah. Oh, God, it was another Unchained card. It was. It was. Um, oh, I was hoping it wasn't. Oh, well. <laughs> We're broken. <laughs> no, no, no. What do you do? What do you do? What do you got? Nothing, nothing good. Nothing good. Okay. No, I got nothing here. I'm just mad that I popped a second prison that you had there. All right, normal summon. Yep. Activate, Urkaya. Sounds good. I'm gonna go for it. the dog. Oh, it's an attack. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're gonna link it off anyway, right? Yeah, ideally, ideally. ideally. Yeah, summon is good, okay. I suppose. Attempt effect. I guess I'll chain here. Yeah. Blue won't pop here, right? Oh, yeah, you're right, because it's no longer in the field of the uh, resolution of the chain. Oh, that's unlucky. I guess I go for this, because I'm just... Hmm. Unlucky. So we'll go for this guy. I I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I just... I think it's... I think this is right. I think this is right. I think this is right. <laughs> oh, you're making another one of these? Okay. 
Uh, how much damage is this? Uh, it's a lot. 70 something? 60? 63? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take all of it. Um. Let's see. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that was the only um, line that gets me to, like, uh, the Unchained Soul of Rage, like, ending on it. I think. Because if I went Rage first and then into Anguish. Um. Fact? <laughs> Um, sure. This one. So don't I have to... Oh my god, this sucks, man. Um, I need to actually, like, read what Trouble Sunny does. <laughs> or can you just read what Trouble Sunny does to me? <laughs> I know you have one. Link 4, including an evil twin. Quick effect, tribute, special Akizuko and Lila from your grave. I will say the banish effect is irrelevant because I don't play you don't, it. You don't have the lovely... I don't have yeah, a... Yeah. I'm pretty sure I have no legal targets in my deck for that. Oh man, this fucking sucks, man. Because, like, if I... Oh, there's a related card button you can press. That works, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. Man, Master Rule's gotten better in the last year. I think I'll just do this. We'll just see what happens. I don't know what I was thinking about that. <laughs> I'm not sure it really mattered, to be fair, but okay. Okay. Berserker. Well, I'm going to use my... Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. On you. Going to use her effect on summon. Um, yep. Draw cards, pop cards. Go into summon VTubers. Another one of these. Yep. Use her effect. Sure. Lilla. <laughs> Activate Lilla. I'm gonna pop your link three. That's pretty good. Let's special summon you and attack. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use Evil Twin Present. You know what this, this card, card does? This card is so good. Oh my gosh. No one in the history of the game has used this card more than you. Okay, so I can at least do this to pop it. I forgot that does that. What the hell? Yeah, it's like quick effect pop to do nothing. Oh, I had a way to beat that. I'm so mad. It's okay. I think the way I win is by you maybe misreading like one effect every couple. I think I just want this thing off the field. That's really small. Whoa! Um, what link the fuck? Three of these into trouble, Sunny. Oh, use the link. To... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Let's let's just set one and pass it over to you. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, we'll go. End phase revive. There it is. There he is. This card. Okay, I will draw. Uh, let's go activate Fury of Kairu Yushin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna search Torrential. Tribute. I'm gonna search okay. Torrential. And that's that's not bad. That's not the worst play I've done today. Oh, nice. Thank you, Master Duel. When you control, oh. if the card is added from your, yeah, <laughs> sure. I get to draw one. <laughs> click, <laughs> click glowing yellow button. Nice. Um, now after that, things get a little interesting because I don't think there's a play. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, target one cord. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I mean we can go like this, and this, and I'll leave that in attack mode. Okay, go ahead. Might as well see what happens. Yeah. They have names. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Kiss a Kill and Lilla. <laughs> Lilla's gonna hit your last back row here that you just set. Yeah, Please don't be another Untamed card. The mystery card. card. Um, what? No, it's just the, it's the <laughs> Torrential I just added. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd hope so. See you later, you know? Torrential. You almost helped us there <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, well then. Uh, that's kind of neat. What? Does this, does this work? Okay, I'm not gonna mess this up again this time, so uh, let's do this first. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna mess that up again. Apparently, I have a target for this? Yeah, on your field. It sends from hand deck oh, okay, or face sure. of field. Alright, send this one. I'm gonna send your thing. <gasps> it's back! You prevented it from being banished! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Saved! <laughs> Oh god, right, what do we think? This uh this last back row, is it real? Do I need to care do it do I care about this final back row? Yeah, that I is bet the you question. Do. I do. <laughs> it's cause it's drowning. Yo! Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm so happy! Alright, special summon. Just a Oh man! <laughs>
This is insane. How? So the question was uh, from the beginning. A lot of people just wanted me to, which which maybe in hindsight was a better play, but I've had that journey since turn one. So instead of I could have just let you go to Trouble Sunny turn one and then just like attack into Drowning, but hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It, it, it risked. Uh, it risked. Uh, if you didn't attack, it was the worst play ever because then you had a Trouble Sunny, and I had no way to trigger the Abomination in hand. Uh, okay, hang on, Doug. I'm gonna do something that this might be throwing, and this could be really funny. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're gonna link these off into. Does this get there? Uh, Nightmare Griffin. <laughs> uh, that seems really good. I don't. That seems really, really good. You can even get the set if you want it. Do you have a funny uh, card to set? Ballista yeah. Squad. <laughs> <laughs> or the or you the twin present. <laughs> I'm gonna set the same crackdown that I just discarded to draw another card. <laughs> oh! <laughs> all right, all right. You know what? You know what? I think that season three. I don't even know what you just drew, but I think that season three. It, it's just the Farfa season. It's just the Farfa season, and that's okay. That's okay. That's it's okay. okay. That's okay. Just I'm just here. <laughs> To be an You're just a spectator in my world. For you to farm <laughs> stream clips off of. Okay, normal summon Yaksha. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I might as well show you the card <laughs> yeah. I drew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that might have been a misplay, actually. Old I just realized. Man I don't think like no. I have game on board. Old man say no. <laughs> that was actually a misplay. <laughs> um, all right, I haven't lost yet. I have not lost the. <laughs> uh, this is probably the game, right? Continue my main phase? 22, yeah, yeah, I'll continue the main phase. Two, 47. scoop! You can't fire me, I quit! Doug, I'm 100 dam damage off, Doug! Holy shit, did you see how short the animation was for scooping? Because I only had no cards on field or in hand. <laughs> it was like a 0.25 second scoop. All right. All right, uh, let's go Melfi staring contest. Yay, stare. Stare, indeed. All right. So, God, the most annoying deck in the world. <laughs> oh. I hope I win, Doug, just so I don't have to. Well, I suppose no, you won't. No, you won't have. No, if you, yeah. Either way, this is the last you're seeing a Melfi. All either of your way. decks are annoying. I don't know why they're all. Yeah, all of your like, decks are like... very fair and balanced and friendly. <laughs> well, at least they end the game quick. <laughs> That's not even true. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I suppose. Activate Wally, at this. Oh boy. Wale. All right, here we go. Yep. Sure. Let's begin with. Do you even have fifteen? Gosh, I mean, you don't even have fine? fifteen extra. Fine, <laughs> uh, ten? Yeah, ten. Ten. Yeah. Good enough. Oh God! Wait, is this the Melfi counter? <laughs> this is the Melfi <laughs> counter. I'm not cards? summoning a monster. <laughs> yeah. Actually, How does Melfi out setting and passing? Actually. Um. Yeah, we'll give you a turn. We'll give you a turn. You can. You can. He's gonna give me a at turn. At least your does. decks play the game. Oh boy. Um. Which one's Caddy? Is this the searcher? Uh. Yes. Set. I think in the end phase, I'm gonna go Canadia book the Wally. Um. Yup. Okay. If I flip something, can I punch Caddy and it doesn't trigger? I mean, it triggers if I attack it, I guess, so that doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't trigger off a of flip right. summons, though, notably, yeah. Okay, so what's the worst you can do with a search? Like, Penny and then Penny does what? It synchros, but it has to synchro with a face-up or something, right? No, 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 it synchros with hand. Melfi's in hand. Oh, it syncs with your hand? Yeah. What a stupid card. It's it rude, someone yeah. using only this card. Uh, okay, and then it tags into Melfi's, who, like, what, bounces a dude? Uh, let's go normal summon. Ritual Beast Tamer oh, Elder. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> There's so no my, way. There is no way my... you said that my deck was boring when you queued up with Ritual Beast. <laughs> what? God, Ritual Beast is fun. Yeah, it's fun. For me. <laughs> for the player. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, now, the scary part the, is um... this is already active, right? Yeah, after you normal summon this card... You can just yeah, yeah, exactly. do whatever the fuck you want. So that is, in mm -hmm. fact, active. So I do have to... You know, the um, the funny thing is yeah. I um, used my unlimit. And Did... my, you know, you know the rule for this week, the unlimits? I used them both on this deck. Really? I brought Canahawk. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I brought oh, Canahawk yeah. from zero to one. 
and a mysterious, but well, actually, I guess you saw it, Canadia. I brought that to three as well. I guess I'm a little, oh, you can special someone. I'm so confused here. Why did this not trigger on Res? Why did the when just, what just happened right there? Uh, it, when it, doesn't have a target, that's why. Uh, actually, huh. I think, I, I think, I guess I thought it didn't have to have toggle on because it's like. Well, Elder doesn't have like a activated activation. effect. It just happens. Right, right. Um, okay, so go these two. I think this face down is like a pedal fin. Oh, this can't bounce face down, so fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, um, well, I still think it's a pedal so, fin. Fuck you. Okay, I, I feel like this is the only monster in your entire deck that has oh more my than 1,500 gosh. attack. Uh, so I might as well use yeah. this now. Fair. There he goes. Bounced back, and then we're here, and then, yeah, you're good. I'm going to flip summon Winda. Ooh, okay, that's, yeah. Ulti, Apelio. Please it's don't judge me. It's back. It's back. Yup. All right, I'm going to go battle. Okay, this card attacks is unaffected by other cards' effects. Uh, yes, sir. All right, start of battle phase. Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 what cook? Oh, no. We'll go, well, I will activate Phoenix Shift. Chain. Can I declare an attack with a monster that is... No. I guess, no. No. But does it become unaffected if it attacks? Well, I guess I can't declare an attack. Hmm, that's a good question. Yeah, you should... <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to use my Canadia here. Um, to sure. clear that Wally. Okay. Attack Wally. Unless yeah, Wally uh, doesn't... Wally has, like, two defense, right? I'm not, like, being yeah, really yeah, dumb right now. Oh, thank God. All right. Yeah, Weak. no, you cleared. You cleared. <laughs> All right, let's tag him out. Oh, Bring man. Back yeah, maybe not my best play in hindsight, but, uh, you know, it's just been a season. It's just been a season. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I th I'm pretty sure we've both done the doo-doos. I'm going to go into ulti petal fin. I'm going to set a mysterious card and pass it to you. Yeah, in hindsight, play was definitely just let the attack go through and then finish chain afterwards. Yeah, this is definitely one of the finales of all time. We'll go uh, act at Melfi Staring Contest. There. Uh, and then we'll grab this. Put that back. What did you add? Another Wally? Wally, yeah. I just added it from Grave. Uh, normal summon. Are you normal summoning Wally? Because if in the end phase I activate the Wally effect, you can chain the pedal fin and then it'll tag out before the Wally sees the the cards get special. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I Those suppose it doesn't matter because I have ritual beasts. Oh, <sighs> fuck you, dude. <laughs> Just hard drawing it, baby. <laughs> Yeah, this is about how these last couple months have gone. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Oh, you can destroy your own cards. That's crazy. Did you consider that for All a right. sec? Or... <laughs> All right. So I'm bringing back the gang here. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy that sec card's been just chilling this whole time and you haven't done anything with it. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. All right, well, chat. You let me know if uh, ritual beasts are more fun than Melfi. <laughs> Vote in the comment section below. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unfortunately, oh, the only downside of my deck is um, there are no downsides to my deck, Doug. <laughs> yeah, it's broken. I think at the end of the Hello. day, you got to remember that these 20 episodes, cope, 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 mold, 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 mold. Cope, 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 cope. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. If card was different card, yada, yada, yada. If other card was other card, other thing would have happened. Yeah. That's not wrong. Uh, no, but this All really right, was see. the uh, the guinea pig um, season. This was the season with the largest amount of changes, as you guys saw. And I'm excited to make some more changes with season four. But I think that um, if you go back and remember the sort of area we were in with season two and the issues with crafting Zeus and Exiton Knight and Redoer every single episode, I think that a lot of the problems did get solved. Um, but... Uh, I mean, ultimately, I just use my crafts better, I suppose, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ultimately, I, the better think... player won. But uh, <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> I'm not trying to say it like that, but you know, I you, you but, did get uh, a little but yeah, I think there's been some. I, I, next. It, it was a it was a tricky uh, to predict because you know it's always like the next big thing, right? So it's like. 
there were these overpowered extra deck things, so I thought the way to make them less impactful was to focus on main deck cards. And I honestly thought at the time, like, oh, if they use their craft on Monster, like, it's in the scripts, like, using your craft on Monster Born and stuff. But I honestly thought at the time, like, you use your craft on Monster Born, you miss out on a good archetype card. But I think we're now seeing, after 20 episodes, you got to be restricted to the secret pack, probably. <laughs> so we got some cool changes with the, the next season. Yeah, I think uh, only crafting from your secret pack makes the most sense. Yeah, but it was hard to see that at the beginning when you're going from completely unrestricted to a lot more restricted. But it seems like we need to be even more restricted. But are, that's we, why uh, it's, uh, are we keeping certain cards like Hall of Famed? Like, yeah, um... yeah, there will be some Hall of Famed cards. I think that they need to stay in. Um, there's a couple. I honestly, I kind of forgotten which ones. As we were going through the ban list, I had said like, "Oh, this is a Hall of Fame versus this is like just me banning it." So I'll have to go back and watch those. But there'll be a couple of Hall of Fame cards. There'll be a couple of Hall of Fame ones and um, some fun changes. So it'll be cool. Hopefully, I think it's hilarious. <laughs> this this uh, this finale wasn't ruined by my plane. But you know, we we get in there. We get in there. <laughs> yeah, Lightning Storm is definitely Hall of Fame. Lightning Storm is definitely Hall of Fame. We've had our fun with that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, playing my deck, Doug. I don't know what yeah, your problem you just, is. Yeah, you just keep playing. At least I stopped oh, something no. um, from happening. Uh, was that, there guess. really just wasn't a good time to use Droplet? Um, No. Probably not, no. I think the play, if I wasn't having a scrambled egg brain day today, would be letting, <laughs> letting the Apelio <laughs> attack turn one and just not fiendish shaming it. Oh yeah, that's just what I wanted. Welp! <laughs> GG's, Farfa. It's been a fun three Good seasons. Games. <laughs> no, no, did I really 3 Oh Doug? Oh no, oh no. Good well, games. Well, I guess like the uh, least scrambled egg player one in a way. Maybe the I next did season. Some questionable plays. <laughs> I'll play a little better. Thank you guys for an awesome season three. We had a lot of big changes this season, so I appreciate you guys putting up with us figuring those out. We're gonna be making some more changes with season four that are sure to make things even better, and I can't wait to see you guys in a few weeks. Perfect. It's been a blast, and uh, boy, do we have some surprises for you. Oh boy, stay tuned. Hmm, this has been good, but what if... That's not a bad idea.